friends hope you doing well i'm dr melin so after uh, neat pg 2022 results were out there are a lot of students who are in a state of confusion because the, some students are mid ranker and some students are who did not get a good rank and rank as per their expectations so they they are thinking about and in a very much doubt whether to write neat pg one more time or not so there are a lot of inspirational and motivational videos available on the internet but sometimes it it's not motivation that we look for but we need answers and we look for examples that people who have done it so today we are very fortunate we have uh, with us dr uh, kirti tripathi who have done it who have uh, not only fought the uncertainty about the exam uncertain uh, uncertainty about her own results also a lot of health issues on the way uh, to achieve a wonderful 2900 rank in neat pg 2022 uh, so hi dr kirti i welcome you in today's our conversation please hi, introduce sir. yourself hi hi sir uh, hi this, hi guys this is dr kirti i have secured a rank of pk in uh, neat pg 2022 i think i'll be getting my branch this time uh, i secured a mid rank in uh, neat pg 2021 uh, and uh, i am 2014 batch i had to like take two drops to like get my <laughs> desired rank yes so as, as as i as far as i remember i think kirti you had around 10000 rank in neat pg 2021 and that is when you decided yes, that you sir. are going to take a drop and uh, prepare again for the exam so uh, tell us what was your thought process like yes, uh, which things came to your mind uh, after seeing your neat pg 2021 result so actually i was um, i was dreaming for a branch which was not possible at my rank so uh, so i was devastated after the result uh, so i uh, i talked to few of my friends and then my, my and my friends they just told me that uh, that if you want to if you want to take a drops uh, after one uh, uh, one month only uh, that they are going to be in, going to be three months after only like uh, in march 2022 so my friends also told me that uh, just go for it go for another exam if you want to and my heart literally wanted wanted to go for another exam so uh, so i went ahead with taking a drop only okay so the friends your friends were someone who convinced you for taking a drop and i think your yes, sir. friends like yes, sir. Uh, especially close friends they play a very important role in you know uplifting you yes, because sir. they are the one who know you the most So how did you convince your yes, parents sir. and uh, was it difficult to convince your parents and convince yourself to take another drop and you know prepare again No sir I am actually lucky in this sense because uh, my parents they never force anything on me they always say that oh, whatever you want to do do because I am the first medic in my family so they actually don't uh, don't have the idea of how the medical line goes and it, how it works how much stress we have to like deal with so unka hamesha yahi rehta hai ki you just go ahead go ahead with whatever you want to so they were okay with uh, with my result and everything uh, but it was me only who was not okay <laughs> yes so that's uh, a very good thing uh, yes, that's a very good thing actually uh-huh. you're lucky in the sense that your parents are very supportive but we have a lot of students who have this issue that you know it's very difficult to convince the you know parents especially and i think i was also one of them but i'll i'll advise just talk with them you know you have to tell them i had a you ha- you have to tell them the backup plan as well that you know if not this then what because you are choosing uh, you are yes, chasing uh, your passion but there is always a risk that you know something th- something yes, uh, might not yes also in taking a drop uh uh-huh. also in taking a drop it's very like uh, it's very difficult for you to like decide in ta- for taking a drop right because nobody uh, plans in on taking another drop for uh, for preparing again because nobody wants to study that much ki ha theek hai matlab uh, everybody thinks ki theek hai 6 months will study and then or like 9 months yes. will study and will get a rank and then uh, will get settled in, in our life at least in this per- perspective that we don't have to study for another another competitive exam so so it was very difficult at that time for me to like decide ki to again study for another 6 months like 3 months or 6 months whatever it was and yes truly as i said that you know the risk is something that differentiate from the life you are, you want and the life you have so if you want to you know there are a lot of students who are uh, you know trying to settle for something like i want to take uh, you know compromise on the branch so i'll say that you know as yes, dr sir. kirti believed in herself and you know i i what i uh, I, uh, i will always say that if you believe in yourself and if you believe in your methods that you are going to prepare well definitely i don't think it's difficult to you know get into uh, that rank 
so did you doubt yourself like you know did self doubt uh, you know troubled you during that period when you took dro- uh, drop uh, so i don't think there is anybody in this medical field who is preparing for like me pg or any said uh, who does it, who is not doubting themselves everybody does it because because the syllabus and everything is so vast to study and nobody can conquer it all because uh, in my first attempt i was like i was thinking that i would conquer it all i would study everything and then i would have a hold on everything because i was not very good at in studying uh, i was an, a very average student during my uh, ug days so i always thought ki uh, after post internship i will uh, like give it all give it my all and then study everything and then read everything remember everything but this was not possible when i which i realized quite late so so the tragedy happened with me so how did you start like after you i think uh, after your results how did you start preparing for did you change your source and what was your study methods during that time and how did you plan so like i uh, uh, after i i actually left my home uh, first thing i did i left my home and then i went to bhatnagar and uh, then i saw your video where <laughs> where you were telling that uh, i i read in i was there in gautam nagar and then i used to study in library the library culture there in gautam yes, nagar yes. is so hostile like uh, matlab people are studying like machines there and then um, when i went went there uh, it was very difficult for me to adjust so i i literally i didn't plan anything this matlab properly so i i just started doing pre- uh, previous years and then my previous notes only i didn't change my source like i changed my source for just one subject which i felt like one short subject yes. only because it was too wa- too vast and uh, when i studied uh, during uh, post internship just uh, rest all the subjects were same just all the sources i just read my notes and did previous years only i didn't like uh, go into very vast question banks and everything and i think this is answer to a lot of students who are thinking about you know who are asking uh, me whether to change the source or not i i, I would like to tell mm-hmm. all the students that kirti was one of the first subscribers for the channel that we started and i think we had this mm-hmm. conversation with the initial students that time as well and i uh, i mean this was the conversation that every students i advised that you know it's not the source that the problem is you know as they say, there's a saying that when the flower doesn't bloom you don't try to fix the flower you try to change the environment so don't change the source try to see what mistakes you did while uh, while revising that and uh, i think that uh, dr kirti have given a beautiful insight into uh, this picture also how many hours did you study because you know it's very difficult to have that rhythm you know once you have studied as you said you were very confident during the first part of your preparation but after you took a drop then how many hours did you study a lot of students believe that you have to study 14 16 hours so what is your take well, i i went back to gautam nagar during december last uh, or mid or mid of december and after that uh, i uh, uh, i started studying around 8 hours a day matlab uh, full focused i i wouldn't say i was very focused for all of those 8 hours but then i used to like try to like uh, study for 8 hours a day but then i i wouldn't stretch it a lot like people say na ki you have to study for like 12 hours 14 hours i never used to count i just i just made few goals ki i have to do this much this much of syllabus today and then if i did that i used to be happy ki ha theek hai okay uh, you did you did this much and then it's okay the small small steps you took and you gave yourself that yes, appreciation small, small okay you have accomplished exactly. yes, small sir. small target yes sir because yes sir i i made very little small uh, targets and then i used to like uh, uh, complete those targets That's and i think this is this is also very important you know the mental health health take a back seat when students prepare because even the toppers and the students from the even the uh, best colleges of india they are under enormous stress during the pg preparation and they succumb to the anxiety and that you know that panic and that stressful environment about exam and the preparation so i believe it's very important that whatever yes, hours you that- study it's very important that you should study with focus and with a happy mind not with the stress mind yes, that i have to do mind, this it's very important it's the happy mind it is it's very important actually we neglect our mental health so much in during these days so, uh, with me also it happened uh, when exams got postponed i was fully prepared for my exam like i wouldn't say i had this much of knowledge that i have right now but then i was prepared for the exam at least when uh, it was going to be in january 2021 need pg 2021 but then it got postponed and then i lost my momentum and then again it got postponed in april and then i my mental health took a back seat and i had 
family issues and everything so my mental health was very poor at that time and uh, we as medics we, def- we definitely ignore our mental health so much so that we think we are we are machines and kuch bhi hota rahe hamari zindagi mein we won't care about it we think yes. we will definitely studies ko hum sochte hain ki we can do it in, uh, in any way we can do yes. we can as study a, as a doctor as a doctor we are very or ambitious we try to just overdo things yes, like hame karna hi hai if we don't yes, achieve sir. that we take yes, us sir. as a failure i i always tell students you know you should celebrate small small achievement you know what you have today like you all are mbbs doctors this is some you know the, the, this is a dream for so many people but even we are not happy with yes, that sir. but even if you know like looking for something looking for your passion and you know dreaming is not a bad thing but don't let it you know mm-hmm. take so much toll uh, on your life also i would like to tell all the viewers who are watching this interview that uh, i remember i received mail from dr kirti around 2 3 weeks before uh, her uh, inict exam and she was admitted with dengue so i think that was so tell us about that yes, like sir, uh, that what was, went uh, through your mind ha i was admitted i was admitted for for dengue for like 10 12 days in uh, in sabdhatang only but uh, so what happened was uh, so what happened at during that time uh, i i i i was not thinking actually ab- about this i was thinking about my health only i was like not thinking about the exam at that time but when i got back uh, rather than thinking about ki i wasted this much of time i i started taking it slow i didn't uh, 15 days were re- remaining for the exam uh, one week after i need set was there and then uh, yes. the two weeks ahead uh, need pg was there then i started taking it slow and then uh, somehow i uh, covered the syllabus half or full and then i i went went to the exam and uh, your ki theek hai matlab we have studied as hmm. and your inct yes, rank sir. was 900 something 900 so despite of these things you still managed to reach within 1000 in inct as well and also in neat pg so yes, the sir. reason why i'm i am uh, emphasizing on this point there are a lot of students facing lot of issues but you know we have someone mm-hmm. who like who had self doubts who was not happy with her rank in the previous uh, exam and she also had a health issues like you know admitted for 10 to 12 days just before the exam but still she did not give up and scored a beautiful ranks i'm i'm i will say that yes she, when the result came she messaged me sir i am not very happy with my rank but i am relieved because you know 2900 is still something that is not she thinks that you know not still her best but she's happy that she's going to pursue her branch now you know then what happened in the previous so and after what whatever she went through i think that is a best thing that happened for the moment so i think that is uh, the reason why we are you know conducting this session is to give this message that you know even if you have this self doubts even if you have these you know things in your mind that you are not going to do it or you know if there are some people who have accomplished this you know as i said in the you know beginning of this interview it's not every time we want to listen to the motivational or inspirational stories we want to look some examples we want to talk to people who have already done it and i think dr kirti tripathi have done a wonderful job after you know uh, neat pg 2021 she just gather herself started uh, her journey in a very alien city alien place which she did not like at all yes, and and then also had lot of issues but still managed to get into a position where she can uh, pursue her dream branch so kirti uh, thank you so much for giving us uh, time and uh, i would like you to just you know uh, for the conclusion what message you want to give uh, to all the viewers i want to give i want to tell all my juniors and uh, people who are preparing for like neat pg and inset even that any rank is possible whatever rank you want to get in uh, inset do not think that you can't get a good rank just because you were an average student during ug days because you just have to study and you have to study the uh, exact portion you don't have to like mug up everything you are not studying for post graduate exams post graduation you are studying for a uh, qualification exam which which is not a post graduate exam you just have to like study the things which are required and not everything that coaching centers are providing us nowadays and and the main thing that i want to say is ki you have to trust yourself that you can do it just uh, because if your heart is saying that uh, you really want to go ahead and uh, take another drop and if your heart is saying that you just stop right here and do not take it just listen to your heart and do what it is saying Yes, so that's I'm very sorry. that's very nicely uh, put so there are some students who are still looking for answers 
whether to take a drop and whether to prepare again so i think this interview might be you know that spark or that maybe a positive thing that you are looking for so thank you so much dr kirti and again many many congratulations on your success and uh, we are really proud of you thank you sir thank you sir thank you so much so we'll conclude the interview so guys i wish you all the best and take care and thank you kirti again see you thank you so much sir thank you